This is what I call was sentences one through six. Now, right out of the blocks, I'm gonna warn you guys. Was is one of the hardest words in Spanish. Believe it or not, there are nine different ways to say was in Spanish. Let me say that again. There are nine different ways to say was in Spanish. But don't panic, don't panic. Um, we're gonna go over them. Um, and here's a trick, here's a trick. When you see was in the past tense, here's what I always do, or I have my students do. Think, what is the sentence in the present tense and then turn into the past tense. I think that makes it a little bit easier, all right? So if you see she was, uh, if you see I was tall, you think, okay, how do you say I am tall? Yo soy alto, and what does soy turn into? Oh, soy turns into era, I see. So again, it's just a suggestion, but when you see was, because there are nine different ways to say it in Spanish, here's what I would suggest you do. Think, what is that sentence in present tense, and then turn into the past tense. I think that makes it a little bit easier to break it down into two bites size pieces. Now I'm going to say each of these six sentences in English and then Spanish and clap. And then I'd like you guys to repeat the Spanish sentence with me. Number one, I was tall. Yo era alto. Yo era alto. Number two, I was happy. Yo estaba feliz. Yo estaba feliz. Number three, I was 13 years old. Yo tenía Trece años. Yo tenía trece años. Number four. It was two o'clock. Eran las dos. Eran las dos. Number five. It was hot. Hacía calor. Hacía calor. And number six. In Mexico, my name was Pedro. In Mexico, me llamaba Pedro. In Mexico, me llamaba Pedro. All right, let's look at number one. I was tall. How do you say I am tall? Yo soy alto. And what does ser turn into? Let's do the chant. Ser turns into era, era comes from ser. Ser turns into era, era comes from ser. So it's yo era alto. Now, number two, I was happy. Well, how do you say I am happy? Everybody, yo estoy feliz. Okay, so visualize or write, write down a story. Now, in the imperfect or past tense, uh, if it's a, a star, you chop off the AR and add what? Abba. So it's yo estaba feliz. Now, Mr. Hall, could I say yo estaba contento? Sure. Could you say yo estaba alegre? Sure. Because remember, contento means content or happy. And alegre also means happy. Okay, so feliz, contento, alegre. Now, number three, I was 13 years old. Well, how do you say I am 13 years old in the present? Yo tengo 13 años. Now, uh, write down tengo on your paper. Now, what infinitive does tengo come from? It comes from tener. And in the imperfect, tener, you chop off the er and you add ia. So it's yo tenia 13 años. Yo tenia 13 años. Now, number four, it was two o'clock. Now, how do you say it is two o'clock? Son las dos. Everybody say that. Son las dos. Now, what infinitive, A-R, E-R, I-R verb does son come from? It comes from ser. And in the imperfect, what does ser turn into? Ser turns into era. Era comes from ser. But notice, it's not era las dos, it's eran. Because in the present tense, how do you say it is two o'clock? Son. So in the past tense, it turns into eran. Now, it was hot. How do you say it is hot? Hace calor. Everybody, hace calor. Now, what infinitive does hace come from? Hacer. And in the imperfect, if you have the verb hacer, you chop off the er and add ia. So it is hot is hace calor. It was hot is hacia calor. And finally, number six, in Mexico, my name was Pedro, or literally, in Mexico, I called myself Pedro. Now, my name is, or I call myself as me llamo. What infinitive does Jean come from? It comes from Yamar. And in the imperfect, you chop off the air and add Abba. 
Now don't feel overwhelmed. What I've done with these six sentences is I've reviewed all sorts of imperfect grammar patterns and structures. So if you're confused by imperfect, type in imperfect or type in Fred Flintstone. I've got a lot of clips explaining it. What this uh, clip tried to do, it tried to pull all the different things we've learned in Imperfect and put it together in one spot, kind of one-stop shopping. All right, hopefully this helped and hasn't overwhelmed you. This has been Was, Sentences 1 through 6.